Cameron Grimes is not afraid of Dexter Loomis. Once I covered his eyes, he says he's a regular man, and Cameron Grimes is afraid of no man. Once I win this blindfold match, Cameron Grimes is going to the moon. And as much as I love Cameron Grimes, as much as he remains my hero, I was not looking forward to a blindfold match. And little did I know. Oh, I got it. Not looking forward to it. Looking. Not looking forward to the blindfold match. So clever, I played a joke on myself. Can you believe they did a fucking blindfold match in the first half hour of the show, head-to-head, -head, and I'm sure they probably didn't know this, but they should have if you ever watch AEW. The Young Bucks opening up the show against Top Flight. Fuck me. This match was so shitty. It was so fucking dumb. Cameron Grimes is falling into... It's not his fault. In fact, well, no. Kinda, actually, it's kind of his fault because he's so fucking good at this stupid shit. That they're like, oh my god, let's think of a bunch of stupid shit for Cameron Grimes. Who, by the way, if you've ever seen Cameron Grimes, like, he's really fucking good at this wrestling thing. So, he's worth a lot more than doing a bunch of stupid shit. But, yes. he could do stupid shit. And so now the thing is, well, let's make this guy do a bunch of stupid shit. What can we think of? Oh, I have an idea. Let's do a fucking blindfold match. Alright, well, they'll both get in the ring. And then Cameron will try not to put the blindfold on. But then he does. And now he can't see anything, so he beats the shit out of the referee. And he goes for his move, he takes off the thing, but the guy in the blindfold, Loomis, he moves, because he's fucking supernatural. And then, Cameron Grimes is scared and he runs away. That was a pitch! And then someone was like, let's do it! Shit, this fucking sucks. Yeah. Like, all blindfold matches are terrible. There's never any positive star blindfold match, I'm 100% convinced of that. This was worse than most. I guess that one between America's Most Wanted, where the blindfolds kept falling off and it wasn't planned, that's probably worse than this. But they're having this match. They put a blindfold on Loomis. He just stands there. They put a blindfold on Grimes after some resistance. And he's can't find Dexter Loomis. And he's working his way around the ring and running into the corner and taking bumps. And so... After, like, several minutes of this, he backs up into the corner with the ref behind him. And instead of the ref saying, hey, Cameron, it's me, the referee, he's quiet. He keeps it a secret. So Grimes turns around. He bumps into him, turns around, punches him, stomps him, puts the boots to him. It's a savage beating. This referee has been mauled like he's been attacked, like he's been attacked by a bear. So Grimes just unmasks. And he uh, looks around, and the ref is down. He sees Dexter Loomis is still standing there with the, mat the blindfold on. Then, even though he's been working in the, in the ring for several minutes and Dexter has not moved, he decides, I will tiptoe across the ring. He tiptoes across the ring like Sylvester the Cat. He does a big charge. The blindfolded Dexter Loomis dodges, then pulls off his blindfold anyway, even though apparently he can see just fine. Then they just start doing a match. They're sitting there doing spots. There's a dead referee in the ring. A deceased referee, roadkill ref, over the ring. No one cares at all. And they do some stuff, and they're running, running around outside the ring, and Grimes hops up on the wall, hops the fence, and runs for his life, and that's the end. That's how the blindfold match goes. I wrote here on Twitter last night, I fully expected the Loomis-Grimes blindfold match to be the worst thing I saw all year. It was somehow much, much worse than I feared. I thought when this was over, for a few seconds, I thought, I think that was the worst match I've seen in all of 2020. Now, then I remembered Edge and Randy Orton at WrestleMania, which was 100 times worse. So it's not the worst match of the year, but it's the worst match on NXT, I'm pretty sure, in 2020. I hated it. I hated it so much. You know, the only thing that I can say that's even remotely a positive is that at least it wasn't that long. I mean, That's it was, fair. at least they weren't fucking bumbling around the ring for like 10 minutes and then the shit finished. It was like it they was like, immediately beat up the referee and immediately did all this shit and it was the done. Whole, the whole thing, like, bell to not bell went about four minutes. That, that That's true. It could have been even worse. If you're a big fan of these video clips here on YouTube, you're missing out on full-length shows. Down there on the bottom right-hand side of the screen, click that Join button, and when you sign up, you'll have full access to all of the shows that we've got up on YouTube, over 300 at current count. Wrestling Observer Live, The Brian and Vinny Show, and Figure Four Daily with Filthy Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. Hit the join button, sign up today. You can also click subscribe, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows and clips are available.